Hey everybody, I'm Lucas and today we are talking about softboxes for Red Hats. Um, the lambs again, not the, not the girls. We talked about this earlier. So you know, for a really long time I wanted to have a set of Red Hats and I didn't bought them because the problem was that I really love Red Hats combined with softboxes. The problem with this is you get a relatively cheap a set of Red Hats but you don't get relatively cheap a softbox because if you want a really tough hotbox that can uh, stand all the heat from these lamps, which is pretty much. The problem is you need something like a Chimera softbox and this is really expensive stuff. So now, more or less by accident, I stepped across some really great softboxes from a German store called Photoshop Becker. Yeah, that's right, a German store that is cheap for cinema gear. Ha! However, these softboxes are around 70 by 90 centimeters and cost only 66 euros, which is a very good value for the money. They also have some really huge softboxes. They are 1 meter by 1 meter 20 and this is really great and really big, but that is a problem. It is too big for me, so <laughs> this time I will only uh, review the smaller softboxes by 70 by 90 centimeters. So what you get is this nice little bag. The bag itself is not the best quality, but it does its job. So, and now let's open it. So these are the, the sticks that you get inside the softbox, so you get the, the frame right. This is uh, the, the skin of the softbox, if you want to call it like that. This can be folded out, so um, you get the sticks in there and then set it up. You get two combinable types of diffusion and you get this really nice ring where everything fits together. So this ring has a diameter of around 16 and a half centimeters. You can uh, flawlessly get it on any red hat, I guess. I think this is a standard size for red hats and it just fits perfectly around it. Just uh, fix it with the screw and then it's on there. Pretty easy. Basically, it's not that hard, but it's uh, time consuming and needs a bit of practice. But when you do it once, I think you will get a hang of it very soon. So now, with a bit more space, let me show you how to build this together. Uh, basically, what we have to do is to get these four um, rods, get these through these little holes that are here, and then stick them through this little bag at the end of the corners. So I already did this with all four of them. What you then do is you use the speed ring adapter for the hat and just get these rods inside these little holes. The next step would be to take the directly opposite rod and put it on the opposite hole of the speed ring. You do this again with the third one, just add a bit of tension and get them into the hole. And now with the fourth one, you need some strength to pull this up bring a bit of tension into the softbox, get it into the hole. Afterwards, you should uh, just close this velcro to each other so it's a bit more closed down for light coming out. Then get this onto your red hat and you're done. Super cool. So we are now done building the frame. Now we can adjust it as we like. If we want it like this or like this, just personal preference. And now we can set up the diffusion for the softbox. So now we have two kinds of diffusion that we can use. Uh, the most that you want to use is this one, the big one for the front. But if this already isn't soft enough for you, you have the second diffusion. This one has some little um, clamps that you can get in here in these little uh, rubber bands. And then on top of this diffusion, we can use the second or the main diffusion by just getting this on the edges of the softbox. And then there's Velcro on the sides so we can just uh, fix it with the uh, softbox itself. Always keep in mind that the more layers of the fashion you add, you always suck up a bit more of light because it's spreading through the whole room. Now, as these lamps are always around 800 watts, I think this is nothing to be too worried about, but still you have to keep in mind that a little bit of light is a loss. So I know this looks a bit like a hassle, but I think um, the light that you get from this is really compensating uh, 
this procedure. And uh, unlike many other softboxes made from fluorescent lights, you get a really nice and big light output from this. So now I want to show you how you can easily detach the softbox. Now, where there's such a big tension on the softbox itself, it is not that a good idea to gently drag out the sticks and detach it like that. Because in one corner of the softbox, you have this little Velcro strap that you can detach. And now, without any tension, you can get this off and detach it rod by rod. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video about the softboxes because I really like the softboxes and to get such a great light from them I'm really happy about these and yeah, uh, hope you liked it, hope it helped you out in some way. Uh, I think this German store also delivers all around the world uh, for a decent price at least for German uh, circumstances. And yeah, thanks for watching, uh, see you next time, bye!